I tried to find a news clip that I could have played as audio on here, but for some reason I could not find one site that actually had a news clip to talk about this story. So I'll just have to do it myself. So some of you may or may not have heard about this story right here. It's very recent. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this on the day that most of the reports about it is going out, which is uh, March 27, 2023. So in this picture, you see two people. The woman's name is Khadijah Michelle Brown, and the man is her husband, whose name is Jeremy Brown. Now, you probably looking at this picture and seeing, saying to yourself, they look like a very happy couple, but looks can most definitely be deceiving. Hence, why if you why I have put her in the Blackaran category, and you're about to understand why. And when you look at her picture, you, you see that's a, clearly a mugshot. That's because. Khadijah murdered her husband by shooting him to death, but it wasn't enough for her to shoot him to death and just, you know, that was it. This woman streamed her murdering her husband right there on Facebook Live. So everybody was able to see this happen. I don't know what it is with people nowadays live streaming them committing a murder. Or any kind of crime, especially a murder. Think about what Peyton Gendron did last year at that Topps grocery store in Buffalo. He went live on Twitch of him murdering 10 black people inside of that store in Buffalo, New York. Remember that uh, story about that man who went to his, I guess that was his ex-wife's house, I guess the mother of his children. And he was live streaming leading up to it and then he goes in the house while he's live streaming and he's so calm with it and literally chases the woman back into the house and then it cuts off of him right before he actually kills that woman. So I don't know what it is. People have this thing of they love to live stream the crimes in which they commit, especially when it deals with people losing their lives. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into this article of stuff that's coming from the dispatch. And it was posted on March 27, 2023. A Lowndes County woman is accused of killing her husband Saturday morning during an argument that was being streamed on Facebook Live. Why were you streaming this? Why were you streaming you and your husband having an argument? That's something that should be between you and your husband. Unless you felt something was going to pop off and you just wanted people to see what was going to happen. But it didn't turn out too well for her. Because at the end of the day, she was the one that pulled the trigger. And from what I gathered before I even made started to make this video, is that she was the aggressor. Khadijah Michelle Brown, age 28, is charged with murder, Sheriff Eddie Hawkins said. Deputies responded to a domestic violence call at 500 Green Tree Drive at about 7.40 a.m. When they arrived, they found a male victim dead of a single gunshot wound. Lowndes County Coroner Greg Merchant identified the deceased as Jeremy Brown, also 28, a resident at the home. Hawkins confirmed the victim was the suspect's husband. Khadijah allegedly streamed at least part of the argument on Facebook Live. Only the audio part of the shooting went on Facebook. The phone had been thrown down and then you heard the shot. Brown is in custody at the Lowndes County Adult Ten Detention Center, Hawkins said. Bond has not yet been set. There was a history of domestic violence between Brown and the victim. Hawkins said, this was a tragic and yet senseless murder. And our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims, to the family of the victim. I kind of have the article hop around to get some more information. Like on Newsweek is stating that the gun that was used was a nine millimeter. And they said they recovered, recovered it from the scene along with other uh, physical evidence and they just said that it remains to be under investigation so this is still something that is still ongoing because it's still a very rather fresh story but this is crazy like why in the world did she live stream this situation and he probably was probably the phone was probably thrown because he didn't want maybe possibly didn't want this to be out there like, I wouldn't want it out there, too. Like, this is an argument between you and I. Why in the world would you want everyone else inside of this? 
Now I'm gonna go to another article because they said there was video footage captured that uh, caught Khadijah hitting her husband. It says footage obtained by Lockhart TV media show Brown hitting her husband and arguing with him during the live session before the incident occurred. At one point in the video, Brown yelled, you the one who slapped me, hit me now. Looking frustrated and angry, her husband pleads with her to stop touching him. It's unclear what led to the heated exchange. One thing that I had read somewhere, and this is all alleged right here, is that apparently, allegedly, her husband was cheating on her with some other woman and she found out. Now, that's all alleged. That has not yet to be proven. What we do know to be true, though, is that this man is dead and she's the one who did it. Then it goes on and says that she's been arrested and charged for murder, which we already know, and no bond has been set at this time. And there shouldn't be a bond set. But right now, like if you go online, pieces of the video of the live stream is literally floating all over the Internet. I refuse to watch any of them. Because like I said, a lot of them is broken into pieces and you can literally find it because it's, you know, what I always say is once it's out there on the Internet, it's pretty much out there for good. And that situation definitely applies here. But, yeah, the reason why I, people were like, why did you throw her into the Karen category is not just the simple fact that she murdered her husband. It's the fact that she streamed it when she did it. Like she streamed that thing for the entire world to see like it was something that you put on to display. That's something you just can't come back from. I'm also reading other things stating that allegedly that this woman put on her Facebook page, probably like as a post a few minutes before she went live, that she found out that her husband was on the DL. Like, I saw that pop up a few times that she found out that he was on a DL and apparently is, quote unquote, bisexual. Of course, that would make any woman who was married to a man, and you know, flip out and find something out like that. And I, apparently when it was at this point, this is when her she was trying to kick him out of the house. Also, there's kids in the house. They had children between the both of them and they're in the house as well. Also, her mother was in the house as well. So it's a lot of stuff going on with this situation right here that still has to be unpacked. And the fact that it was recorded on video, that's the part that got me the most about this whole situation. Like he was in the process of trying to leave and it's like she wasn't trying to let him leave. I'm like, if you want him out, just let him leave. Why were you trying to hold him there against his will? If he was if, if you wanted him out, he was actually willingly trying to leave. So when you pulled that phone out to record this, then it turned into a thing now that can be used against you. But then when you pulled that gun out and shot him and killed him, now it's taking another form. No, no one's, people are going to forget about you finding out that he lived this alternative lifestyle. They're going to focus on you pulling out the phone to stream this and you pulling out the gun to use and kill him. And then in front of your kids with your mother there. She also was stated as saying that when she shot him, oh, she didn't know that there was one in the chamber. So apparently she thought that this gun was empty. This, she probably thought the chamber was empty, but it wasn't. You always got to check for that one in the chamber. That's one thing that I learned when I first went to go get my HQL, my handgun qualifying license a few years ago. You always got to make sure and check that there's always one in the chamber before you just try to fire it off or pretend like you're using it. Or what you shouldn't be using, shouldn't be doing anyway. So, yeah, so it's also been reported she said that she didn't know it was one in the chamber. She even was reported as saying that she was going to kill him. Like, all of that stuff is documented on that live stream. And they're going to use all of that against her. She literally, she, at this point, she might as well just walk right into the prison. She might, they might as well just open up the door, open up the gate, and, and just, just stride right on in. Because you gave them enough to go on to use against you in a court of law that can get you locked up for a long time. So now the kid's parents are gone. Well, the dad is dead. She's about to go to jail for a long time. The kids, most likely, like I said, are probably going to end up maybe with the grandmother. But based on how the grandmother was acting to instigate in this whole thing, I wouldn't put her put the kids with her either so hopefully they have some relatives maybe on his side that are of sound mind that can take them in because the last thing i would want is for 
their kids to end up in the foster care system and they become a part of the system. That's the last thing I would want to happen.